Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbrier Farm. And in the, one of the last videos we said we we're gonna train Jolene to be a milk cow. So one of the things that we like to do here is <laughs> try to get her calm. There you go. So one of the things we'll be doing here in the next couple days before we actually try to milk her is give her some sweet feed and just keep her calm and just kind of pet her side, pet her back, and then just kind of work our way down to her udder. Kelsey's going to be the one milking her. Touch Kelsey and milk. But well, I'll be helping handle her. Uh, but we'll touch her side and then just kind of feel her udder, rub it a little bit. And then eventually you can start playing with the teats a little bit. I'm not going to do that today. We're gonna let some of, since the calf is just one day old, mom's got a lot of hormones going through her right now, so this will be a process that we'll work with. But just kind of rub her side and then rub down to her udder. And she's not kicking, which is a good thing. If she was kicking right now, then you know, we would have to take other precautions when we were, would, would be uh, milking her. Jolene's got a really pretty nice udder large capacity, nice evenly spaced teats. Right now I'm just, just very cautious of what I'm doing and what she's doing. So I don't want her to turn and charge at me. So the baby's calling. So we'll film the process of us training Jolene. We got lucky with our Jersey cow Greta, just their temperaments are so, so good. Um, so this will be our first real test, training a cow to actually be a milk cow and our first Dexter milk cow. Today we're going to start our process of milk training Jolene. So we're going to do what's called calf sharing. So we will bring in our little bull calf Gandolfini with the mom here, Jolene, and right now we're just going to try to get her accustomed to getting her into the milk stanchion. Give her some brushing, spray her with some fly spray. Just get her used to the process uh, because when it comes to milking a cow, it's all about routine. So we're going to start that today. So first things first, I'm gonna should be easy enough to get her on the halter, but trying to get him might be a little bit of a chore. I'll take the calf one if you want.
Park's done. <laughs> All right, so we got some of Kelsey's homemade fly spray. We'll show you how we make that. It's a mostly all natural product. We just reuse this bottle that we bought. Yeah. It, it doesn't last for a long time, but it does seem to make everybody a lot more comfortable when we're doing the milking. That's one thing we noticed when we would milk Greta is that when she would kick, it would always be because she was kicking flies off of her, her back leg. So we mentioned before that this was a process that we started with Jolene quite a while ago with getting her used to our touch, feeling her udder so she doesn't kick, which is a good sign here. Makes such a difference too. Someday, if she does get sick or injured, that she'll be willing to let us help. How's he doing? Is he pulling? He's pulling a little bit. He's not good. He's doing pretty good. He's not putting up a fight. So you always want to be careful with their back legs because they can kick sideways as well as back. And this is the first time she's been in a stanchion, so. We got her distracted with some sweet feed. Give him some pets. <laughs> He's like, oh, I think I like this. His eyes look so funny right now. <laughs> All right, now that she's kind of calm, Kelsey, do you want to see if you can squirt some? Milk out of her? <laughs> she barren? <laughs> she feels like she's got a lot of milk. Yes. Yeah. I think with the goats, we have a lot more experience milk training goats, and I usually start them with the machine because it's easier, honestly. Once they get the routine and they know what to do and they're not jumpy and kicking around, which she's doing awesome, but once they're used to it and they're relaxed, then I switch to hand milking if that's something I want to do with that animal. So I think we'll probably start with Joe the same way, start her on the milk machine. So this first first day we didn't want to bring the milk machine out. It's just an added noise. It is pretty loud. To distract her. Didn't want to spook her or anything like that. So we we'll probably do it this way for a couple days. Get her used to the routine and then add something new. Once she comes willingly. With Greta, I probably didn't even need to put a halter on her. I could just tell her where we were going and she would have walked right there. All right. I haven't found too many videos of people actually milking Dexters. I know people do it. I think one video I saw, somebody was really happy. They had a kicking cow and they got her in a stanchion and got maybe like a cup of milk out of her, so they were really happy. So our goal is to probably milk her once a day, do the calf share, separate the, the calf at night, and then milk her in the morning. Dexter milk is supposed to be very similar in its properties to Jersey milk, so it should have high butterfat, high protein, high lactose. 
so it should be really good just for drinking but it should also make a lot of butter and a lot of really good cheeses yep. for gallons so yeah we're hoping looking forward to it so but this is a good good first start just getting her in the stanchion and mainly messing with the calf <laughs> and this stanchion was set up for our jersey and it's almost too narrow I probably should adjust it she didn't quite squeeze her head out but she could have adjustable. And he's pull not pulling very hard at all. Hopefully he's an easy halter trainer. Well some some people we saw they don't actually feed their cow until after they're done milking so it's like a reward. We always gave Greta feed while we were milking so I don't know we'll probably start by giving her the feed and see seeing the, how she does. I see the pros and cons both ways. Since we don't grain our cows at all otherwise I felt fine letting Greta eat as much grain as she needed while I was milking her and it kind of felt like the more milk she gave the more grain she would eat so I think that Okay. I think that farm that suggested well maybe they only feed grass too, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I would think for a Guernsey you'd have to offer. Well that's not that's not cool. Yeah, that's not that was one nice thing about credit. She never pooped while we were milking. Well once or twice she did early on, but she looked after it first. Good girl, Joe. All right, should we get her home? Yep. Good job, All right, day one of milk training went relatively smoothly. Mm -hmm. I think the hardest part's gonna just be getting that little calf on the halter each time. But as we do it, it should become more easy. Yeah, she did a great job. I don't think we could have asked for it to go any better than it did today. No. So. Yeah, we, we were spoiled with our Jersey Greta and we will be spoiled again with our Jersey Millie. They are just natural milkers and naturally friendly. Our Dexters are 50-50. <laughs> Sometimes they're friendly and sometimes they are, have a bit of an attitude as you can hear. Yeah, Emma. Yeah, Emma. <laughs> Alright, so part one done. We'll keep you coming along for the ride. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. <laughs>